Uh, Jurassic Park obviously had a big impact on the field of paleontology. I really think that it took advantage of a lot of the things that were already out there and a lot of just developing interest in paleontology in the uh, late 1980s and early 1990s. I think the whole Jurassic Park phenomenon, I mean, it's not really about science. You have to realize that it's purely entertainment. In the same way as you don't really get the accurate view of the universe from watching Star Trek or something like that. So really that's what it is. And there's a lot of misconception, a lot of things just to make it entertaining. Does that bother me? It doesn't really bother me at all because it's purely for entertainment. You just have to look at it that way. During the like mid 80s when I was in grad school and into the late uh, 1980s, paleontology just became more and more of a focus of people's interest. I mean, when I was a little kid, it was all about Jacques Cousteau and the space program. And that seemed to be changed somehow in the 1980s. And I think really Jurassic Park took advantage of that phenomenon rather than creating it. It's really hard to calculate the average lifespan of the dinosaurs because there really hasn't been that many of them which have been intensively studied. One of the most intensively studied is Tyrannosaurus rex. And we published a paper several years ago on it which showed that uh, the oldest Tyrannosaurus rex known was about 26, 27 years old. And that's the specimen at the Field Museum, the Sioux specimen, that they reached adult size or you know, somatic maturity, so full size, at about 18, 19 years. There's been a lot of speculation that Tyrannosaurus rex was a scavenger, but uh, I just don't see it. And I don't think that's a very popular feeling amongst most professional paleontologists. I mean, experiments that have been done by my colleague Greg Erickson and stuff have shown that their bite force was so powerful that just by chomping one time, uh, bones just explode. I mean, if you take and you put, you submit the bite force of a T-Rex on, just on a two by four in a pressure chamber, it doesn't uh, just drill a hole in it. The actual thing just completely explodes into pieces about that big. So, uh, you know, I think that if you look at T-Rex skeletons, almost every large Tyrannosaur that's ever been excavated has a lot of damage on it, has rehealed bones, uh, just suggesting that they had a very active lifestyle. Well, there's even been some bones of herbivorous dinosaurs that have been found that have broken off T-Rex teeth uh, in, stuck into the bones, and then they rehealed. So that, you know, indicated an attack that they survived.